everyone, welcome back to Alexis Cochiever Health and Fitness Rx. Um, I'm Alexis, and um, if you don't know me, um, I am a health and fitness enthusiast, it's my passion, and the Rx comes from the fact that I'm also a family practice physician assistant, so I work a lot with families and individuals uh, who are working on um, maintaining a healthy life and preventing illness and chronic disease. So um, I use, I love to um, share all sorts of tips on, you know, how to make a healthy lifestyle easy. So today is part four of my series on getting your family on board, a healthy eating um, or healthy lifestyle in general, um, eating and what fitness and, um, uh, and all of it. So. Um, so far I've talked about a few different things. I've talked about how to get your kids on board, talked about healthy kids snacks, and I've also talked about um, maybe one of the hardest parts of it is getting your family on board with a healthy lifestyle. So today I wanna to talk about the last bit, which is probably the most important, and that is um, something called the 80-20 rule. Basically, it amounts to the fact that there is no perfection required. Um, there are no hard and fast rules when it comes to this. Um, it's, you need to make it your own thing, make your own guidelines, those kind of things. Maybe use some of the suggestions I've shared so far in my previous um, series. But, but the biggest thing is no perfection is required. Um, the key that is that this is a lifestyle, it's not a diet. And when we start worrying about being perfect and not messing up and those kind of things, that kind of makes it seem more like a diet. So. Um, the way it works for my family is we follow this 80-20 rule. So 80% of the time we're eating great, we're sticking to our clean diet, um, and we're following some of those guidelines, avoiding sugar and chemicals in our food. And 20% of the time, we don't even worry about it. We indulge, we enjoy ourselves, we have dessert night, and we go have cinnamon rolls the size of our heads, <laughs> or Slurpees from 7-Eleven, and we don't feel bad about it because we, um, the majority of the time we are sticking to our healthy lifestyle. We go on vacations, you know, my husband and I just got back from vacation where we um, did a lot of enjoying of our adult beverages, eating things. There was one night I ate an entire pizza myself. And you know what, I don't feel bad about it because I know that my consistent the thing that I'm doing is, 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 gonna, is where I'm gonna get my results. So your results and your lifestyle in general, your health in general comes from what you do consistently. So if you can consistently follow some healthy um, guidelines, you have plenty of room to come in and have that splurge here and there. One splurge once a week or every couple weeks or um, that kind of thing is not going to you know, affect your health in general. So um, I just wanted to come back with that, kind of tie it all together that you know, this is, this is your, um, your journey. You make the rules. Nobody, no one thing is gonna work for every person. So you find what works best for your family. Focus on consistency over perfection. Perfection is boring, it's overrated. And if we can just focus on consistently um, sticking with some healthy things, teaching our kids you know, from a young age so that they don't develop food issues as adults, weight issues, that kind of thing, we can all work together towards this healthy lifestyle. So I hope you've enjoyed this series. I'm gonna to continue to come to you with lots of good information and, and more fun series um, coming in the future. So enjoy your day and um, don't forget if you missed the first few um, blogs or videos in my series, they're all on my blog and I will share that too. Thanks so much guys.